Are you confused about which fats are good for you and which ones to avoid? If you are, then don't worry, you are not alone. There is so much conflicting information out there about fats. Some say they're essential, others say they're harmful. So what is the truth? Hi, I'm Sonia Hollis, Qualified Nutritional Therapist, and today we're going to be breaking it all down for you. We're going to be exploring the latest research on fats, how they impact your weight, your heart health and overall well-being. We'll uncover which fats fuel your brain and heart and which ones might be working against you. I'll share research-backed insights on how fats affect metabolism, inflammation and even mental clarity. So please just stick around to the end where I'll give you some simple ways to add more of the right fats to your diet for lasting health benefits. For many years, fat in our diet has been viewed as the villain, blamed for obesity, heart disease and high cholesterol. However, the rise of low fat diets and foods hasn't led to better health outcomes. In fact, many studies show that the opposite is true. It's not about how much fat we eat, but rather the type of fat that we consume. Research shows that reducing certain types of fat can reduce the risk of chronic diseases, but other fats are essential for our health and well-being. So understanding the differences can help you make the right choices for your long-term health. So let's talk about the function of fats. They're not just about adding flavour to our meals. They play vital roles in almost every bodily function. So here are just a few ways of how fats support our health. Brain health. Fats make up to 60% of our brain's dry weight and are essential for brain function, including learning, memory and mood regulation. These fats are particularly crucial for pregnant women as they contribute to fetal brain development. Research from the current opinion in lipidology in February 2023 highlights that omega-3 fatty acids which are found in fatty fish improve cognitive function and may reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Fats support our cell membranes. Fatty acids are crucial for building cell membranes, keeping them flexible and functional. A research paper in BBA Biomembranes notes that the composition of fatty acids in cell membranes impacts everything from nutrient absorption to immune response. Fats are important for our heart. Around 60% of the energy your heart uses comes from burning fats. Studies have found that omega-3 fats found in oily fish can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by improving blood flow and reducing inflammation. Our nervous system also needs fats. They help to insulate and protect our nerves. The myelin sheath, which covers nerves fibres, is composed largely of fat and it helps to speed up the nerve signal transmission. Moving on to lung function and how fats can support our lungs. Lung surfactants are fatty substances composed primarily of saturated fats, which are crucial for lung function, preventing lung collapse and allowing for efficient gas exchange. Digestion. Fat slows down digestion, giving the body time to absorb nutrients properly. It also helps the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. So we have vitamins A, D, E and K, which are essential for immune function and also bone health. Organ protection. Fats cushion and protect vital organs like your heart, liver and kidneys. And lastly, we have fats to support our immune system. Essential fatty acids are involved in producing prostaglandins, which regulate inflammation and immune responses, helping the body to fight infections. Now that we understand how fats support our bodies, let's break down the different types of fats. So we have monounsaturated fats. These fats are liquid at room temperature, but solidify when chilled. So they are most commonly found in olive oil, avocados and nuts, such as almonds and walnuts. Research shows that people who follow a Mediterranean diet, which is rich in these fats, experience lower cardiovascular disease risks. Polyunsaturated fats. 
These are also liquid at room temperature and remain liquid when cold. They include essential omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Studies show that omega-3 fats found in oily fish like salmon, sardines and mackerel have anti-inflammatory properties and are linked to a reduced risk of heart disease. Omega-3 fats are anti-inflammatory, promoting heart and brain health. Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids, particularly the EPA and DHA, have shown strong evidence for supporting heart health, especially in preventing cardiovascular diseases. Research suggests that individuals without heart disease should aim for at least 500 milligrams per day of combined EPA and DHA, while those with known coronary heart disease or heart failure may benefit from higher intakes such as 800 to 1000 milligrams per day. As always, please consult your GP or health practitioner before taking any supplements. Omega-6 fats, while still essential, can promote inflammation when consumed in excess especially if the ratio to omega-3 fats is skewed too far. Both omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids are polyunsaturated fats that the body cannot produce on its own, so you need to get these from your diet. Omega-6 fats are found in vegetable oils such as soybean, corn and sunflower oil, processed foods and also fried foods. Balancing the intake of omega-6 and omega-3 by increasing oily fish, flaxseed and walnuts while reducing the processed and fried foods can help restore a healthier balance and reduce inflammation. Moving on to saturated fats. Now these fats are solid at room temperature and primarily come from animal products. So your red meat and dairy and also tropical oils, coconut oil, palm oil, for example. Now research indicates that excessive consumption of saturated fats raises LDL cholesterol, which can increase the risk of heart disease. While it's important to limit intake of saturated fats, coconut oil is also a saturated fat, but it's unique because it contains medium chain triglycerides, MCTs, which are metabolized differently and are less likely to raise LDL cholesterol. It's also heat stable, which means it's a great choice for high heat cooking. Now, the last fats that we want to talk about now are called trans fats. These are artificial fats that are created through the process of hydrogenation, where liquid vegetable oils are turned into solids. These are found in many processed foods, such as margarine and baked goods, along with fried foods. Trans fats increase the risk of heart disease by raising LDL cholesterol and lowering HDL cholesterol. Now, research overwhelmingly supports avoiding trans fats entirely as they can lead to chronic inflammation and metabolic dysfunction. Now, let's look at some of the best sources of healthy fats. We have oily fish, so salmon, mackerel, sardines, anchovies and trout are all great sources of omega-3 fatty acids. We have omega-3 eggs, so these eggs come from chickens fed a high diet in omega-3 rich flax seeds. Avocados, packed with monounsaturated fat and also they are a good source of fiber and potassium. Nuts and seeds, we've got almonds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds and flax seeds, these all provide a variety of healthy fats. Olives, these are great for snacking or adding to salads for an extra dose of monounsaturated fats. And lastly, we have coconut oil, a good source of MCTs, perfect for high heat cooking. So here are some easy ways to boost healthy fats in your diet. Eat oily fish two to three times a week to get your omega-3s. Snack on raw, unsalted nuts like almonds or walnuts. Add avocado to your salad, smoothies or sandwiches for a creamy texture. 
Use olive oil in salad dressings or drizzle it over cooked vegetables. And try cooking with coconut oil instead of butter for stir fries or baking. So as we've seen from numerous studies, not all fats are created equal. Consuming the right type of fat is key to supporting everything from brain function to heart health. Focus on including healthy fats like omega-3 rich fish, nuts and seeds and olive oil while limiting unhealthy fats like trans fats and saturated fats. Remember, when you choose whole, nutrient-dense foods, you're giving your body the best chance to thrive. By making small, sustainable changes to your fat intake, you're investing in your long-term health and vitality. So in conclusion, not all fats are harmful. The key takeaway is that healthy fats, especially those from whole foods like oily fish, avocados and nuts, play vital roles in supporting brain function, heart health and overall well-being. So by focusing on those types of fats that you eat, you can significantly improve your health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the information, please just like and subscribe. And also, if you just check the description below, you'll see some handouts that are relating to this video today. That's it. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.